In this video, we're gonna show you the five moves you should learn next after the basics in East Coast Swing. My name is... Brian B. And this is Miss Megan. So, let's take a look at the five moves. Now, moves four and five go together and they go off script a little bit. But if I'm dancing my basic of East Coast Swing, I have to know a cuddle. That would be move number one. The second move we need to know is a hammer lock. And these moves are gonna be put together in order from the easiest to the hardest. Then I'm gonna do alternating underarm turns and then we're gonna go off script a little bit to our shoulder catches, and that's gonna to work to our sliding doors, which we'll come back out of. So, let's talk first about the cuddle position. There's two basic positions. If you have two hands, if you pull this hand in, you'll get to a cuddle, and the second one is the hammer lock. So, to do the cuddle, if we're doing our basic, Triple step, triple step, rock step. I wanna look at my watch on this hand and pull this hand in front of Megan's face. A triple step, triple step, and rock step. To take her out, I want to raise this hand and use my right forearm to send her back out. So I pull the hand in to get her to come in. She lands on my forearm. I use my right forearm to send her out. Pro tip right here, when you get to this cuddle position, if you just throw this hand up, I don't know where she's gonna go. So I wanna begin to toss it up as I'm tripling her forward to get her out. So that's the cuddle, the first move you need to know after the basic. The second one is the hammer lock because it's based off of an outside turn. Triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step to take her out. So what I need to do is, from my basic, I wanna pull my left hand up to my left. That's gonna get Megan to triple into that window. Triple step. And then I'm gonna triple around behind her as I hammer lock her around. Rock step to get her out. I pull this hand in front of her face to get her back out. But I wanna show you on this side because there's a tip that will cause you to not break your partner's arm. And that is, is as she's going in, I don't just wanna put this to her back and followers we find in our classes that the followers know the move and they put the arm there. Yeah, don't do so, it. So, don't do it. So what's gonna happen is this hand is gonna f go down first to get to the hammer lock position. It's gonna go down to come back out. So that action alone can be part of the lead, right? So as I'm doing this, your partner probably knows this outside turn where I pull the hand up and she goes outside, right? If I'm doing that and I keep my right hand, triple step, triple step, and I let my right hand go down, it will fold in here. And pro tip number two, once she's here, I like to tuck her in right there from that position, right? So she's comfortable. And that gives me a moment to get this ready. She won't pop out early until I un unloosen this arm, unlock, unloosen, to pull her back out. So move number two is your hammer lock into that position, back out. The third one is the alternating underarm turns. Megan says that her students like this one. We can do it from two ways. We can bring her through first, then me, rock step. Her, then me, rock step. So it's based off of a basic inside turn if I'm doing this, triple, triple, rock step. The inside turn is the one where I look at my watch to pull Megan through, right? Once I get there, there's a tip that I, there's a trick that I need to quickly flip this hand so my wristwatch I can see my watch and that lets me go through. So as we do this, we'll do it from this side so you can see. Rock, step. She goes, flip. I go, rock, step. Do it again. She goes, flip. I go, rock, step. And that flip of that hand has to happen fast. So if you practice that with baby steps, she goes through, flip the hand. So the followers just have to keep that hook to the hand. I like to use these two fingers to flip this so that I can go through rock step. So we go triple, triple. <laughs> Megan's doing her baby steps. Triple, triple, rock step. Megan, I'm gonna make a new dance, I promise. It's baby steps, right? So that is your alternating underarm turns. Rock step, she goes, flip, I go. Rock step, she goes, flip, I go, and rock step. The fourth and fifth one go together they work off of a different timing. So we're gonna give you the easier one first. That's the shoulder check. So if we're dancing our basic triple rock step, it looks like an underarm turn, but I check her with her shoulder to send her back out. Now this is a timing change that you have to know exists. You'll have typically six and eight count patterns in East Coast Swing, if we're talking basically socially, the social perspective. Triple rock step, 
triple step, rock step, triple step, rock step. So the timing changes from triple, triple, rock to triple step, rock step, triple step, rock step. So I use this hand to communicate that to her. Rock step, triple step, rock step. Now followers have to do something with this hand. Megan, can you talk about this hand? Followers, the easiest thing is just to go up. If not, just try to keep it in and not by your side because if it goes by your side, this is a little uncomfortable awkward. and awkward. So just make sure it's straight up or tucked in around. And leaders, it, when I'm reaching through, I'm being proactive about this. If I put my hand, this tells her that she's gonna then put that arm up. We almost, I tell my students you're gonna screw a light bulb in. Uh, there's another reference that I can't say on YouTube. <laughs> there's another, take your chest and put it on the shelf. <laughs> that is, I learned that from a teacher, so I'll use the word chest and put it on the shelf. I don't know, it was a good, it's a good thing to think about. It's a good laugh for, for that students hand. too. So, when I'm done, I take this hand over and I drop it down mm -hmm. and I keep moving. So you see that keep moving tells Megan that it's done. The hand tells her to stop, rock, step, triple step, rock, step, triple step. Now when I get good at this, I can use my right hand to stop her and I don't have to do the shoulder check. If I'm comfortable with that, then we can get to sliding doors, which is pretty cool if we do a basic first, triple step, triple step, rock. I like to change to this hand. So I can triple step and rock step, triple step and rock step, triple step and rock step, triple step, and I change back to go an underarm turn, triple and rock. So the first thing though is we have to be able to dance those shoulder checks to kind of condition the follower that that's the rhythm that we're gonna be dancing. If that's comfortable, we can get to the sliding doors right off of the basic. Now there's a trick to this as I change to my right hand, that's a good clue. Then this is what we call a bracelet grip. I'm getting to her arm, I'm sliding down like a bracelet, catches at the wrist, right? As we rock step, same thing here, my right arm slides down like a bracelet. Do not hold on like a Harley Davidson motorcycle. These are all things that my coaches have taught me. No Harley Davidson said, Brian, you're holding your partner like she's a Harley, don't do that. So it's just the bracelet grip, rock, just enough to stop her, rock, triple, Rock. When I'm done, my tip socially is I'm going to slide this hand down, click. That's a good, uh, good tip. Can you talk about that arm from the follower's perspective, what your goal is? Followers, you're going to try to slide down. Uh, if the leader wants your hand, they will take it. If not, they will just let you go. And there's times where I might slide this hand down and not take it. There's times where I might slide that hand down, catch, and use it for something. So if I'm doing this, basic switch to my right hand, rock step, triple step and catch, triple step and catch, triple step and catch, slide it down and rock step, triple, and then I can go into alternating turns. alternating turns and start to move them back and forth to different moves. Now if you want to see our seven favorite social moves that kind of go off script, they're a little bit harder, you'll want to watch this video down here, and if you really want to level up your game, you should head to our website, socialdanceonline.com. It's like Netflix for dancers. There's 17 different dance styles broken down specifically for social dancers, exactly what you should learn next in all of your favorite social dancers, and you can get that right here.